Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part two of my Facebook members share their toy bolos. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Full time reseller. All right, let's get started. These range from big money to unexpected, just fun bolos that you might not know about. What is a bolo? A bolo is an item to be on the lookout for. If you are just new to the channel, never been here before, my channel focuses on teaching resellers how to look for items to be on the lookout for, items they can buy low and sell high. Um, I do share bread and butter bolos also, so those are easier to find items that usually sell quickly. Um, so check out my channel for tons of be on the lookout bolo item content. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe right here, I think. Um, and we're going to get started. So I think I've probably got 20 or 25 that I'm going to share with you in this video. So um, we are going to move right along. This first item is a vintage 1985 My Child Mattel doll Burnett brown hair. Um, so I am actually reading to you guys what the person wrote um, that shared the screenshot. So in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I shared this screenshot and invited members of the group to share their best toy bolo. And then they screenshot it and I'm reading from Facebook right now and I'm gonna pop up screen shares. So this just helps you guys learn. They get to see their item on a video. It's just a super way, fun way to share and be a part of the reseller community. So she, or he, sorry, paid $3 at a yard sale for this and it sold for $74.99. Pretty cool. Okay, the next item, it says, he came from a storage unit, so we estimate less than a dollar in him. Sold at posted price in just a couple weeks. He was loose and had some scratches. He is a Gossamer Warner Brothers store Looney Tunes vinyl figure. I have never seen him before, but I am definitely gonna be on the lookout because $60.74 for a toy is awesome. It's a seven inch toy. Um, this comes from Bolo Buddies member Jack's Treasures. So if you are a part of Bolo Buddies memberships on my YouTube channel, in this video, you will get an additional shout out to your YouTube channel or your eBay store. If you're interested in joining that, there is a link down in the description. If not, no worries. My content is completely free. This was a personal item from when our boys were small. Asking 650 took a best offer of 500, you guys. It is a 1999 Ultimate Soldier Little Bird Combat Helicopter. Oh my goodness, check it out, crazy. Okay, found at the Goodwill for $2.50, was asking $99.99, but took a best offer of $85. So this is an Eden Blues Clues red thinking chair. You guys, it's a plush thinking chair from the cartoon Blues Clues, $85. $85. I love it. I love it. I love, I love selling toys. Like I just, they're so easy to ship. I, I like the smalls. I hate breakables. Um, I do breakables from time to time, but like toys are easy. Toys, vintage Christmas, vintage Halloween. Like I, there's, you know, as a reseller, there's just certain things that you really enjoy selling. So down in the comments, tell me what is your favorite thing to sell? All right. The next one, I bought this in 1980 Hot Wheels Stow and Go City of City at Goodwill for $5.99. It had the original box, but taped in several places. It went for full asking price days later for $79.99. So it's um that's what it is, a Stow and Go Hot Wheels. So it's a playset. Very cool. Okay, I love this next one. Found this at a thrift store. These can actually sell between two and $300. Unfortunately, this one had damage to the face and I took an offer of 100. It's a wacky monster, mad balls toy, vintage blow mold. I think it's a bat. They didn't use bat in the title, but it's a bat. Now I know there's mad balls that are balls with faces on them. 
And I know some of those can be a bolo, so this makes total sense to me. But this is a bat. I've never seen a bat. Wow, 100 bucks. Okay, you guys are going to like this one. I purchased this Squishmallow at a church garage sale for 50 cents. It was missing the tags, had one small stain on the ear. I sold it after about four weeks. I originally had the price at $349, and it sold pretty quickly once I lowered it to $299. This is it, you guys. It is the incredibly rare Squishmallow Stackable Claire the Purple Cow with Flowers. Okay, now, Squishmallows. They're all over the place. So if you find one, look it up. Some of them can go for hundreds of dollars and some of them can go for 10 or 15. Um, I do have a category video on Squishmallows. I have one on this channel and I have one on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. Two totally different videos, two different viewpoints. Check both of those out. I also have a video that teaches you how to get the stains out of a Squishmallow. Um, so three videos. Just type Squishmallow into my search bars. Or you can go to YouTube search bar and put Squishmallow Bolo Buddies and it should pull up all three of those. But um, I do share with you the ones to look for. Okay, I love this next one. Bear in the Big Blue House. Anything Bear in the Big Blue House you want to research because a lot of them are bolos. Uh, paid $3 at a garage sale. Sold one to two weeks for full asking price. Um... I might have, I might, or I would have paid um, somebody, oh, I'm sorry, somebody's putting this in the comments. I would have paid for that. I have a 23-year-old daughter, and she was very into that show. I also have a two-year-old daughter who I bought the DVDs for. So that's somebody in um, the Facebook group commenting that they would have bought that item off of her. Now, I will tell you, if you guys are in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and you have an active auction, um, so an auction that has multiple bids and it's a bolo, you can private message me on Facebook and I will share that link in the group. Um, people have made sales that way, but I also use it as a way to educate the group on current bolo items. So um, there was one guy, I can't remember what it was. He had a lot of something and um, somebody in the group actually ended up buying it. I think that's happened a few times. So it's a great way for you to get eyes on your items, eyes on your store, and it helps others learn. And then that item will also be featured in another video that I do that's called 50 Unexpected Bolos. Um, I pull those from my Facebook group, so you guys can check out that series also. It's a really popular series um, because most of the items are really big money, so, and things you wouldn't expect. Peter Pan Plush sold, uh, I'm sorry, paid 60 for all, still have three lots listed that haven't sold yet. Sold this Lost Boys lot for $140 plus shipping. Sold the Darling Kids for $160 plus shipping. And they got them on offer up. Wow. So it looks like um, I only see one here. Darling Kids. Okay, so I see that's weird. I see the Disney store, Wendy, John. Okay, that's the Lost Boys, I think. Okay, so the Darling Kids, I don't know. That must be something different. No, that maybe the, I don't know, I give up. But anyway, it looks like they sold two separate lots. Maybe they only showed a picture of one. Okay, the next one. You guys are going to love this. I don't have the actual sales screenshot anymore, but a few years ago, I purchased this Sid the Science Kid microphone at a local thrift store for 99 cents, and it sold within a couple hours for over $100. This is one of those toys that most people would pass over, but always look up PBS Kids Shows. You guys, it looks like a cheap microphone. I probably would have passed by it. Sid the Science Kid. Bam. That's awesome. Somebody wrote, yes, you're right. I would have passed that over. <laughs> so thank you again for sharing your bolos, everyone. Okay. Bought a bag full of vintage My Little Ponies and almost fell over when I looked this one up. Cost of this one was an average of $4. And she sold it for, she said, yes, I had it high at $999, dropped it to $799 and took a best offer of $600. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? Okay. Um, this was mine. 
as a girl in the 90s. I think I should have listed it for more because I had multiple inquiries and it sold within a couple of days. He even had a tear in his, a tear, a tear in his armpit. I'm like, he had a tear in his armpit? A tear in his armpit, which I sewed and disclosed that he had surgery. Sold for $40. So it's a, um, like a pillow, a troll pillow. And it sold on Mercari for $40 plus shipping. The next item is this, um, okay, we got a little story here. Husband was being so nice and offered to take me to some yard sales between our bus routes. Stopped at a sale that was small and he laughed and um, said there's nothing there. Found this little cutie for 25 cents a quarter. Saw on their website it sells for 75. Took a best offer of 45 and sold in less than a month. It is a NAO 1349 by... Yad, Yadro. I said it right. Yadro. Yadro. It's spelled L-L-A-D-R-O. So I used to say like Ladro, but it's Yadro. Yadro. Okay. Sorry. I'm proud of myself. I hope I said it right. Um, it's a puppy dog. Yeah. Anytime you guys can find that brand, definitely pick it up. And it does not look like it sounds. So uh, the next item is this. It's not my best ever, but it is recent. Paid $5 at a yard sale. Not the best ever. It sold for $273.75. You guys, it's Buzz Lightyear. It's a 12-inch uh, Buzz Lightyear with the utility belt that works. It's vintage. Um, let's see. Somebody wrote that they had one and it's missing the belt. So she asked what makes that one so valuable? So they responded. So I'm gonna tell you what they said. The belt lights up and he has a ton of features and catchphrases, including working laser and the helmet closes automatically and he sounds like he is choking on the air like in the movie if you open it. The biggest identifier is the light up belt. Overall, the quality is just a few steps above most of the mass produced stuff out there. A little bittersweet as they, that was my favorite childhood movie, but when I saw the comps, I knew I had to sell. Okay, so um, I guess it, it's, it's very well made is what it sounds like. You can tell by, I don't know if there's a date on it or not. Okay, bought these for $3 each at a yard sale. Moxie Girls, I've sold these. Moxie Teens and are, uh, was a Bratz inspired or knockoff brand. Okay, I didn't know it was a Bratz inspired knockoff band, brand, but I have sold these. Um, that did not do well initially 10 years or so ago, then was clearanced, then disappeared. Now, like a lot of toys that had a short shelf life, people are looking for it. Um, so the guy that's sharing this is super, super knowledgeable on toys. Um, so when he speaks, I listen. So Moxie, teens sold for $75. Okay. The next one. These are my three favorite toy sales paid a dollar for the Lincoln logs paid five for the American girl set and three for the vintage Lego set found these all at my local Goodwill. Okay. So the Lincoln logs sold for $36 and 50 cents plus shipping the American girl, um, table and chairs sold for 69 80 plus shipping. And the Lego System Construction Dig and Dump sold for $88.50 plus shipping. So three bellows right there. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Won a shelf of miscellaneous items in an online auction. Saw this witch. Wait. Saw this, which is why I bid in the first place um, for $4.00 sold for 40 plus shipping. So it's an original Shrek special edition Uno card game set and it sold for 40 bucks. Okay, you guys, Uno can definitely be a bolo. Look those old Uno sets up. Um, like this has a character, um, a theme, but some of the older ones can be big money. I sold a set, I can't, it was some specialty type of Uno. It's in one of my recent videos. Um, definitely a bolo. Paid $5 at a local thrift. Sold for best offer of $45 on eBay. It's a, I always say Funko, but I think it's Funko. Funko Pop. Um, and it is the Hobbit. 
sold for 45 bucks. So these are kind of one of those things that are completely hit and miss. So use that barcode and look it up. Um, but some of them can still go for money. Um, I got this at a huge bag at my local thrift store for $4.99. The bag was stuffed full of all types of Barbie and dollhouse furniture. Sold this set of bunk beds for $41 on Mercari and the buyer paid shipping. Again, Mercari is fantastic for toys. Okay, bought at the Goodwill for $2.99. Sold on eBay for $60 plus shipping. It is a Shrek Pinocchio in Gingy Plush 2007 Discontinued Rare. Sold for $60. That's what it looks like. I bought this with a group of other things in an estate sale. Breakdown is that I paid 25 cents for this. Was listed for around two months. It is a Jordash. Um, okay, so there was a Jordash doll. I actually sold that doll. Um, but this is an outfit for it. Um, a replacement outfit. And it's new in the package. New old stock. Sold for $25. Very cool. 99 cents from the Goodwill, sold within two weeks, took a best offer of 50. It is a vintage Russ Plus 16 inch shaggy pink bunny plush stuffed animal. And plush can be a big money bolo, you guys, and it can be bread and butter, but you should be looking up those plush because you can usually get them pretty cheap at garage sales. Okay, sold these three 60s Marvel puzzles for 125 each within a day. Maybe could have gotten more, but I needed the money, so I priced them to sell. Paid five-ish each, bought in a lot of 60s puzzles and games, so I divided it all out. It was about $5 each. Got it on Facebook Marketplace. So these three puzzles sold for $375. That's awesome. And the next one is mine. Um, so I sold this on a best offer of seven, or I sold it for best offer of $75. I picked it up at a garage sale for one buck. I have video footage of it. Um, I think, I don't know. It's either on this channel or my sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I put my, uh, garage sale videos sometimes on both. So I don't remember which one it's on, but, um, in my garage sale videos, I do pop up screen shares of how I listed things. And if they already sold, I'll tell you they already sold. And if not, I'll show you what I listed them for with some other, I do like a voiceover. So you get information throughout the, while I'm sourcing as you're watching me source. But anyway, this is a vintage a and raccoon soft plush backpack. And I couldn't find any others like it. So I just priced it high. Um, I had it listed at 125. I had it on sale 28% off and somebody offered me 75 and I'm like, I paid a buck for it. So I went ahead and took it. Okay. We got a few more here. Let me uh, get them pulled up. I got to switch over to a different spot. So while you guys are waiting on me to do this, if you can hit that thumbs up and subscribe, if you're not already subscribed, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, maybe I'll get this pulled up. And again, if you know anybody that wants to learn about Bolo items, please share the channel. Check out the description for uh, different links to different things. Um, I do use List Perfectly. I don't think I've mentioned that. I cross post my items to Mercari and Poshmark and sometimes Facebook, Etsy, and Grailed. But it is a cross posting extension that is absolutely fabulous. For Got this for free at a yard sale in a box of mixed Hot Wheels that were left over. Sold for full asking price of 40, full asking price in 48 hours. It sold for $79.99. So it is a Hot Wheels City Octopus um, Attack playset with the car and instructions. It's a playset. Hot Wheels playset. It's crazy. $79.99 guys. Got this at a little thrift store for 25 cents. You guys, it is a vintage My Pet Monster, which if you guys have not seen my video that I did on the top five plush to look for, to be on the lookout for plush, like plush items can be big money. I tell you the top five, I mean, hundreds, hundreds of dollars these plush are selling for. Go watch that video. I also recently did a Build-A-Bear. I think I did the top 10 Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. You guys, it's crazy. There are certain build bear that go for big bucks. And I mean big money. Go check out that video too. It is worth your time because those things are sitting in tubs at garage sales just being passed by. Okay, so 
My Pet Monster is one of the plush that I mentioned in the plush video. And this is a vintage My Pet Monster greeting card invitation. So like it's a pack of eight invitations. She sold these for $40, you guys. New old stock. Awesome. Um, paid 40 cents, found in a toy grab bag, sold within a few hours for $75, got it from the Goodwill. It is a Pokemon Hydro Pump Water Squirting Shiny, it's a toy figure, Pokemon. Um, always look up Pokemon. This thing sold for $75, you guys, plus shipping on Mercari. Another reason to cross post to Mercari. Things sell over there. Uh, that are sometimes saturated on eBay. So eBay has, it's so big, you know, and if you put those things on those other platforms, you get different eyes and your item just might sell faster. All right, you guys, check out my Mercari What Sold videos and my Poshmark What Sold videos. Um, and you guys can see different things that are selling on other platforms. And when you watch those, you can know that those items were listed on eBay and they sold faster on those platforms. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Check out the description for links um, to get coupons. And like, if you want to sign up for Mercari or Poshmark, um, if you sign up using my code, you get a coupon and then I get a coupon. And anyway, it's good stuff. All right, thank you for watching and have a great night. Oh, leave me an emoji of glasses. They can be sunglasses or eyeglasses. And if you can't find glasses, just put sunglasses. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.